World Health Organization has declared the monkeypox outbreak a global health emergency. It is the highest alert that the WHO can issue and comes as the world faces an upsurge in the cases. Now, the biggest concern as ex for experts is the fact that cases are showing up in areas where the virus is not endemic. Well, so far, over 16,000 cases have been reported from 75 countries. Five deaths have been confirmed as a result of the outbreak. Now, World WHO Director General Dr. Tedros Ghebreseus says the emergency committee had been unable to reach a consensus on whether the monkeypox outbreak should be classified as a global health emergency because too little was understood about the new modes of transmission which had allowed it to spread. So what are the symptoms? Well, they include fever, headaches, swellings, back pain, aching muscles. Now, once the fever breaks, a rash can develop, usually starting with the face, then spreading to other parts of the body, most commonly the palms of the hands and soles of the feet. So how do you catch it? Well, monkeypox can be spread when someone is in close contact with an infected person or animal, such as monkeys, rats, and squirrels. It can also be spread by contact with virus-contaminated objects, such as bedding and clothing. The virus can enter the body through broken skin, the respiratory tract, or through the eyes, nose, or mouth. And many of you asking how dangerous is it, considering that we're coming off the back of the COVID-19 pandemic. Most cases of the virus are mild, sometimes resembling chicken pox, and last between 14 and 21 days. Monkey pox can sometimes be more severe, however, and has been reported to have caused deaths in West Africa. So, what about treating it? There are no treatments specifically for monkeypox, but antiviral drugs and vaccines developed to protect against smallpox may be used to prevent and treat it. There's also a vaccine developed for smallpox that offers good protection. Goodness.